Hello, this is Dr. David Oster, and this is a presentation that I put together on quadriceps tendon tears. Quadriceps tendon tears usually occur in patients who are between 40 and 60 years old. Now the quadriceps tendon is the largest tendon in the body, and it has four muscles that insert or attach onto it. The quadriceps tendon is highlighted here in yellow and again it's the largest tendon in the body and there are four muscles that insert or attach onto this tendon. There is the vastus lateralis that's outlined here in blue. On the front of the thigh there are two muscles the rectus femoris and the vastus intermedialis which is outlined or shaded here in red and then there's the vastus medialis, which is shaded here in green. And all four of these muscles attach onto the quadriceps tendon. And the quadriceps tendon then attaches to the patella, which is shaded here in black. Now when these muscles contract, it pulls on the patella, and that's what helps straighten your knee out. Now these tears usually occur when there's a large force applied to the knee. So if a person steps down from a stair or jumps down from something or pushes off to try to step up, that's usually when these tears occur. And the tears occur just proximal or just above the patella and usually involve the entire tendon as well as the retinaculum, which is the tissue on each side of the tendon. Now, because the tendon tears, the muscles attach to that, and that pulls the tendon up proximally or up towards the hip, and that makes the tendon tear displace. And when that occurs, that makes it so the patient can't straighten his knees. Now, it's important to diagnose tendon tears early because if the tear is diagnosed late, this affects the results. The results are not nearly as good if a tear is diagnosed late and repaired late because it makes it more difficult to get the two ends together. Now here is a tear and a patient on the right hand side. The patella is on the left and the tear is located right where my finger is pushing just above the kneecap and there should not be that indentation and that shows that there's the patella on the left and the tear is to the right and that area of separation is where my finger is indenting. Now treatment involves sewing the tendon back together. Sutures are placed up into the quadriceps tendon and then the ends of the sutures are placed through drill holes in the patella. And these sutures are then pulled and this draws the tendon back into the top part of the kneecap or the patella. And this is shown on the right hand side here. The quadriceps tendon is on the left, the patella is on the right, and the tear is located in the middle and those arrows show the gap between the patella and the quadriceps tendon. Now those sutures are placed on the left hand side through the quadriceps tendon and on the right hand side they're placed through drill holes in the patella. Now when these sutures are pulled through the patella this draws the quadriceps tendon, the edge of the quadriceps tendon is shown by those arrows and when these sutures are pulled that pulls the quadriceps tendon back down to the upper portion of the patella. And this is a patient after the quad tendon has been repaired. The tendon's on the left hand side, the patella's on the right, and the tear is where the black line used to be. And those sutures are located where the tendon was repaired and where the sutures were used to brought the tendon tear back together. Postoperatively, a brace is applied to the leg and flexion or bend is limited and I usually start at about 0 to 30 degrees. Most of the time weight bearing is allowed with crutches and by approximately four to six weeks the crutches are discontinued however the patient continues to use their brace. As healing occurs the amount of bend is gradually increased and by eight to ten weeks usually full range motion is obtained. Strengthening is also initiated and by about 
five to six months after the injury and repair, full activities are usually allowed as the tendon is now strong enough to withstand those forces that a patient will put on their knee. So this is a presentation on quadriceps tendon tears and shows the treatment of these tears with surgical management sewing the two ends together. If you have other questions or would like to look at other text or video, please visit my website davidostermd.com for an appointment 303-214-4500. Thank you.